Right, hello and welcome back to Hunt Showdown. So, got a little bit of time left on the event, we're down into the hours now. So, coming back to it after another day, and we're looking to get, we've got two more attempts here, two good attempts before I have to start getting more uh, people added to the roster. Speaking of which, we've got, uh, hmm, we'll go for three reshuffle there, we can grab a three hunter. Just go for the dismiss, get any equipment. <coughs> right. I wouldn't say any of these are particularly worthwhile. Um we hmm, can't do shot that they're not particularly brilliant perks of those. Bulwark's not bad. Decoy supply is I mean you may as well it's it's barely even worth the bother. Um, the carbine isn't bad, but it's not great. They've got a nice name, though. I do like it when it puts these nicknames in. But I don't think they're worth the money. Mm. Best way to. I'm sure this will end up being like buses, you know. There'll be none for ages, and then there'll be two or three that I'll get at once. Right. So, Maud today, we've got a Mace up Updrought, this is a Vettely uh, Carabiner, so well, yeah, Vettely Carbine, Dead Eye variant, but it's got a legendary skin on it. I always get annoyed with that in games, where they tell you the name of the skin as opposed to the name of the gun, you know, the, the skin name could be in brackets next to it all. Or at least have the gun name somewhere there. Because it's the same when you're picking them up off the ground, you know. You, if you don't know that skin, what that particular skin is, you kind of have to stare at the gun quite oddly while it's on the ground trying to make out what weapon it actually is. Which is rather irritating. We've got a double barrel shotgun. Um, and we have a knife, med kit, choke bombs, tomahawks. Uh, that's mostly just for the event, you get points if you kill a, an armoured uh, zombie with those. And we've got antidotes, a quick uh, healing injection there, if we need to heal a lot very quickly, and some bombs. Um, I don't think I have any specific perks for these weapons. We've got steady aim, so weapon sway gradually lessens when we're looking through a rifle. But I think if that's the case... I see no reason as to why I shouldn't, for example, uh, perhaps go and, yeah, we could by all means, um, say, swap this out. And put it on here. May as well, eh? May as well. Put on the uh, character where it matters, eh? I'll I'll leave that as is. I can I can swap these back out afterwards if I need. But no point having those guns on someone I intend to not use. Right. With that done, and I will have to keep in mind. Whereas this person did have the bullet grubber perk, we don't have that on Maud here. Maud is just using, yeah, she's, oh, she did have a, ah, she has got a perk specific for that gun, Dead Eye Scope Smith. So it is actually probably reasonable to keep that on. We'll put that back back on then. Wow, have I got two of those? Mm. We'll keep the quick shot though. Right. 
Right. That'll work. That'll do. I'm keeping the quick shot though. Um But yeah. The Dead Eye Scope Smith, so we'll remain in scope view after firing a shot. Quite nice for keeping track of your targets, but it mostly because you're not pulling out of the scope and then uh, pulling the bolt. It gives you a slight rate of fire increase that for this gun, which has already got a decent fire rate for a rifle. <coughs> it's probably the fastest firing rifle other than uh, lever actions. The issue it has, though, is obviously it it doesn't use the long ammo, in which, if you're not familiar with the game, basically there's uh, as well as things like explosive rounds or poison rounds and things. Conventional ammo, there's four types. You've got compact, which is basically pistol rounds. Um, ignore this at the top, it always shows your current weapon at the top, just so you can uh, kind of compare. But, for example, so you'll see all these pistols. It's mostly pistols that use it, but lever action rifles also use compact rounds which is why though they're fast firing they're not very powerful especially at range and are generally looked down upon the Vettely here uses a what's called a medium bullet so sort of higher caliber than pistol rounds but not exactly a full caliber rifle round either you find it usually in the cheaper rifles um, but some pistols use this as well, which these pistols, because they're using a bigger, bu uh, bigger bullet, they cost a bit more than your regular pistols, but they hit pretty hard. Um, then you've got your long ammo, which you find in most rifles, but I did mention the uppercut the other day and how that's basically a hand cannon, that's why. And it's mostly just large rifles that use that. The uppercut, really expensive because of what it is, this big hand cannon here, but it because the ammo pools, it's uh, quite useful to have one if you're using a long rifle, uh, as it adds additional ammo to your collective pool. Then of course there's shotgun rounds, but we all know what they are. Anyway, we'll get into it, I'll not delay anymore. That's our loadout, that's what we'll be doing. We have got... Ooh... They're going a bit on the cheap there. Um, I'm going to leave that group. Bows and Springfields. Genuinely, my, you know, my guns cost more than their entire loadout. I'm, I'm not going in with that. I don't mind if they've maybe come a bit unprepared but when he hadn't got any consumables either it's like look look you, you can go and mess around with a free hunter in your own time I'd probably go into a game with them if I weren't using level 40 but with what's riding on this I'm wanting someone who's actually willing to bring something a bit more substantial to the table and I wouldn't put myself in the wrong for just trying to get a better you know just trying to better my chances here right that looks a bit better. That looks a lot better. We've got a Mosin bayonet. That's a very powerful rifle. A pair of very good pistols. Bornheim's fire very fast. Um, Vandal Deadeye isn't bad. He's put high velocity ammo on just to make it a bit more reliable at range. So uh, He's bringing a decent amount of bombs. He's got his med kit. They've got some here. They've got some poison. Uh, they've got poison crossbow very useful for area of control as you can see it's got these little sort of glass capsules on the end of the bolt that explode on impact and create a small poison cloud that lasts a few minutes um, <coughs> yeah and he's got the relevant perk so uh, reduce reload time for crossbows so yeah that is a but also because it's bringing, you know, this is a bit of a meme gun, but you know it has its, 
it has it's got its utility for just area denial just throwing poison down in doorways and windows making it difficult for enemies to move around you especially if you've got an antidote shot and they haven't um, but the fact that they're bringing a Mosin with a bayonet that is a very expensive very good gun so that should because I will say I don't mind if you're gonna bring like a bit of a mean gun that doesn't really help us too much but you know, I mean, it offers some utility but I think you're unlikely to get you know direct kills with the poison uh, crossbow but if it's gonna bring a Moors in you know big try hard I'm actually attempting to win here sort of gun is his, is his primary I think we can be safe in the knowledge that he's probably not messing us about there right so should have a fairly good chance with that Right, let the textures load in. Another small one. Hmm. <laughs> Don't think that was me. I think that the birds were scared by most likely, in all honesty. I think it will probably. Uh, them r running a bit too early, but never mind. No, they've not managed to get them. Probably want to move away from that. Oh, to fix the problem. Also, I spy with my little eye. Consumable box. There we go. What have we got? A sticky bomb. Right, it's at the shipyard or the prison. And we do have to be careful, it is scrap beak. Now, scrap beak is, hmm, uh, yeah, I think I've explained before, but yeah, he'll, his whole thing is that he's a hoarder, so if there are no items here, that means he's here, that's like the first clue. He steals all the items and carries them around in a big rucksack. I don't see anything in that red box. Yeah, it's here. Absolutely here. We'll get the clue. You still get points for getting the clue. So it's always worth getting. And it 
is pulsating white. Now, unless someone spawned up at, say, damn it, perhaps at the Seven Sisters estate and activated that clue and then moved to the prison, perhaps, and then came down here. I don't see anyone else being here with, with us. I think that everyone else has spawned elsewhere on the map. And we're in a nice little corner. Three to just kill this boss. Fingers crossed. If we do do that, which we have a sticky bomb, so that's perfect for this. Hello, run! <coughs> Shotgun's probably best for this. That's those good pistols he has doing their part. Still pulsing white. No, right, three trait. Some additional loot, a flash bomb this time there. Uh, we don't have, for the first time in a while actually, I don't have um, any, um, what's it, any traps to set on this character. They're not that type of character, unfortunately. But I am going to reload this. I know it's a partial reload, so I'll lose one of the shells, but better fully loaded than, sorry, eh? Um, all that said, so the only thing we're going to see, well, the only loot we can get is the stuff he dropped here. And I've just remembered as well, I've forgotten to uh, be using these tomahawks on the armoured. I only saw the one on the way in, but two points I could have otherwise gotten that. Um, this may attract a few people. Oh, and there is actually a, a single trap there. probably be a good idea if somehow we do kill this and there's no one here and where is the nearest extraction as well seven sisters estate probably not too far but, but yes if we do manage to get the bounty and there's no one here it would probably be a good idea to maybe use our dynamite on the meathead outside it will give a nice chunk of xp there's a chance of it dropping a um, <coughs> chance of it dropping a trait I think it's a 50% roll each time you kill one but <coughs> the additional xp you get from meatheads is meatheads is actually quite good so keeping that in mind that we we don't want to miss out by a couple you know last time it was about a level and a half or so we really don't want that to be happening again if possible I don't want to have to do another game really after this Right, 
right, so let's see how bad it is. Clear. I say I'd be tempted to kill that, but it looks like we're going to try to go for the next one. They're feeling ballsy. We do actually have a decent chance. We've got wall hacks, but the problem is while we've got this, um, other players know that we're here. So they'll see lightning bolts on the map, and if they use their dark sight, they'll literally see a lightning bolt directly above us, giving away our exact position. So to be wary of that. Oh, dogs. Oh, dogs, dogs, dogs. Need to recover my stamina. Remembered that time. Get me bonus points there. Yeah. I think that went under his hat, under his armpit. That. <laughs> Where did it land? Surely it didn't go all the way over here, did it? No idea. I can't keep looking for it. I don't want to get separated. Get a few more bookshot rounds. Yeah, that's an easy mistake to fall into that. You just get a bit separated from your group and the next thing you know... There's an issue. Right next to the exit. <sighs> Explosions up this way. Yeah, we're heading right for it.
I'll let him get that because with me it'll just replenish my uh, missing tomahawk. Which isn't overly important. I only brought it to get things for the event. So this is the other team. Uh, do I have? I do have necromancer. I heard two kills. I think we're good to revive. Go just as it finished. Yeah, there we go. That's another thing as well. Um, doing this gives you additional time for the enhanced dark side. So as you can see, I'm now going back up to four. Bit of money, a few items. Um, I've got the vulture perk as well, and. I think this was a trio attacking a solo, so we have to be careful. It's not three groups of three then. And I've apparently replenished my tomahawks. There might be rogues out there. If it's gone when we get there, which I fully expect it to be at this point, I expect them to grab this and leave now. If I were the enemy team, that is exactly what I would do. issue here is it's a bit of an uphill battle this one they can be out on these balconies and things and just be sniping us as we go up very much you know if you've seen Star Wars episode 3 you know they do have the high ground here and it does actually matter I don't think you can actually get to that window but There are a few windows and balconies that they can look out of that overlook this area of the map. Now, they've only picked up one bounty and they are moving towards the edge of the map. I think this was a lucky solo who has managed to get in, get himself a bounty somehow <laughs> without being killed by everyone and has now left. I think we just got very, very lucky here. <laughs> It'll be worth looking through the uh, the area, if anything, just for a bit of loot, but also since I have the ability to loot all corpses, I've got the vulture perk, usually a corpse can be looted twice. So usually a corpse can be looted twice. You don't have to be the person who killed it. It's just the uh, it's just twice arbitrarily. Um, the vulture perk allows you to do that 
no matter what. Even if two other people have looted it, you can loot it as well, which is useful for trios. Helps you get a few extra resources back. A few bits of extra, a few extra items and that. It means that if you find things that other uh, people, other teams have killed, you can get yourself a few extra uh, bits and bobs. Yes, we're clear. we go. There's the achievement. I'll just let this all play out. Just take it all in. There we are, by this hand. <laughs> the amount of money that's given me, Christ. So, we got, yeah, we got bound first and second clue for the spider then it got banished we found the first and third clue but so you, you see what I mean when I say you get points for each clue so because we found the first clue and then we found the clue where it was we didn't get the second clue so we don't get that 50 bounty then we got the layer located if we'd have just walked in without taking that clue in we would have got first clue layer located. So just stopping and doing that's worth 50 quid. Right? 50 quid and 200 XP if you just take a moment to just get that extra clue before you're running, even though you know it's there. Then the kill, the banish, and the contract fulfill with a clean sweep bonus. Yep. Still got plenty of uh, time on the clock. We got a nice bonus for that. Found a bunch of money from the corpses I looted. Right. Absolutely excellent stuff. But. Yes, and there we go. Three hunters killed at the same level. I think was it three in total we got? Yeah. One there four corpses there. Was it? Very odd. Yeah, no, we, we killed this team then. Yeah, and that's the guy who just got out. Ha! <laughs> These must have all been fighting. And yeah, that uh, snapshot I got was a headshot. So I just poked out, blew the head clean off. There we go. And of course, the event is now complete.
I'll put her original shotgun back on as well. I believe it was this one. And we had a van in here with the Spectre cat quick shot. There they are, though. So, our final roster Eula Bolander. Cursed in Proven. Uh, Tristian Fornia. Havana Walker. And Maud Oldfield. And now, with officially unlocked new skin here. Hell, I could even go and. Uh, Put on a wayfinder bow if I wanted. <laughs> there we go. Just stick a few to uh, tomahawks on them. And they'll be pretty good looking then. I think they're very much fit. It very much fits the part. It's a nice event that. Nice event. Few few skins for... Uh, I think it's been kind of in demand for quite a while that people have been wanting some like Native American themed things uh, bows in particular, it's like well you've got crossbows, can we have regular bows? I'm surprised what, with one thing though, that they've not got because um, they've gone and put hunt, uh, the frag arrows in, the explosive arrows and there's poison tipped arrows but there isn't... Um, oh and there, there's even razor wire arrows but no fire arrows. Do you think there'd be a fire arrow because they are an actual legitimate thing that people did throughout history? Like the, tip, the tips of their arrows on fire. Yeah. Put them in like some... I think... I'm trying to think historically what they'd do. I think it was stuff like they'd uh, stick something on the end of the bow. Not, not end of the bow. On the end of the arrow that was uh, flammable. Maybe some oil or... Uh, some sort of wrapping and that that they'd be able to ignite and then fire that but yeah you, you'd think that they'd actually put flaming arrows in but no no fire arrows even though fire damage is a thing in the game I guess they just didn't want to have to model in like an animation or something that showed you lighting the bow because they do well lighting the arrow on the bow because I, I suppose it is a thing that um, they do try to be very realistic on this game but I think I think you can kind of sometimes you have to accept with games that you're not going to have an animation and a little uh, model on the bow for you know, all the weapon for every little detail, but sometimes adding something in for gameplay reasons is quite nice, because fire arrows are a thing, even though you wouldn't have the animation, or you'd have to, like, model some kind of lighter or something on the bow that is only enabled if you've equipped fire arrows or whatever. I don't think they need any of that. They could just literally give you fire arrows that you swap to, you know. Or they could build it into the reload animation that he likes it. But then I guess if you swap weapon, it's like, well, what? Did he just put that into his backpack? You know? Mind you, you, you don't wear backpacks. You know? These are all little semantic things as to whether or not it breaks the immersion. I'd, I'd just add the things in me. But that's my opinion. Very happy with the event, but got all the bits and bobs. And we've now got, as I mentioned, all five of our characters thank you very much for watching I'm genuinely surprised this went as well as it did so much so that I've even got one to spare here <laughs> I mean hell if I get them to maximum level we've completed the human colour chart there haven't we we've got the uh, you know, one for every ethnicity gender Etc. Well, maybe not. Well, I guess. 
We might have to get a Native American to level 50 as well to count for that now that they've been added to the game. But, joking aside though, genuinely surprised how well that went. Um, if you haven't tried Hunt, I would give it a go. It's a very fun uh, multiplayer game, bit of a different take on... I wouldn't even say it's really a Battle Royale game. I think it's closer to like the survival mode off of the, the Division uh, than anything else. But I'm trying to actually think which one's older, the Division survival mode or this, because this is several years old now. It's quite a... Uh, in, in the era of uh, where games stick around for a few years, particularly multiplayer games, yeah, this is actually, I think, two or three, I think it's three years old now? I want to say three. Um, but, I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, genuinely surprised with how well I've done there. I don't normally perform as well. My kill-to-death ratio, if I remember when I first started this, was really really low it was not 0 0.5 i think it was more like 0. Point, probably 0. 0.4 ish um but it's been steadily creeping back up since i actually started getting good at the game it's it hovers around 0. 0.55 now the quick play one might give you a better idea because i start playing quick play later on when i'd actually got decent at it my actual kill to death ratio might be more along the lines of this normally otherwise now but regardless i think and getting three bounties to finish on nice high i'm but anyway that'll do it for this if you do enjoy and it does get a few views i think there's an event coming at the end of october for halloween i could dabble in that if it's something you would be interested in please let me know if it is because I do always look for excuses to play this. I might just do it anyway. Um, thank you very much for watching though. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.